Hey guys, my name is Nico and in this video I'm gonna show you how I would set up my Facebook ads if I only had $5 per day to spend. I know that $5 per day is not ideal, the budget is very very low, but if you don't have any more money to spend, I truly believe that you can still get some idea of how your Facebook ads work and if your offer is right. So I'm going to take you inside my computer and I'm going to show you how I would set up the Facebook ads campaigns. And right now we're inside. I'm going to open my business manager. I'm going to take you back. And as you can see, I have two types of campaigns. I have a cold campaign and I have a warm campaign. And those campaigns are sending the traffic to my landing page. This is the landing page. And... Here, this offer is specifically designed for people who sell online courses, digital products and services. And with my code campaigns, my main goal is to target coaches, consultants or any type of businesses who sell info products. And the offer here is my marketing partnership program. And this is like a completely done for you program where I help people set up Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and, autom and automated marketing systems so they could get clients on autopilot. So it's a very, very good offer. It's like, so I truly believe that is a very, very good offer for cold traffic because we're targeting a specific customer avatar and the offer is a no brainer. And here with my code campaign, I'm actually targeting four different audiences, right? And the daily budget for each audience is $1. So $1 per day for each uh, audience. And in this campaign, I'm targeting three interests and I'm targeting one lookalike audience. As I said, or I'm not sure if I said it, but my campaign is optimized for conversion event and the conversion event is submit application. So I'm telling the Facebook pixel that I need people who would submit application on my website. Um, and I'm just gonna show you the targeting of this ad set. I'm targeting people who live in the States and the interest here is marketing automation. I know that a lot of people who sell info products are very, marketing savvy and their interest in marketing automation. So this is one of the interests I would target. The next thing I would do, I would go to like manual placements and I'll just target people who are browsing their feeds and who, people who are browsing their stories. I won't ask Facebook to show my ads on in-stream, reels overlay or search or any of the above. The campaign is optimized for conversions. I want people who are going to submit application and I truly believe that my code ad sets will be most effective if I target exactly the same placements as you can see on the screen. If I scroll down, as I said, optimized for conversion and I won't be using any cost control because if I use any cost control, I will limit the delivery. And the next interests I'm targeting, it's like a Frank Kern. This dude is like, have an audience of like people who might be interested in submitting applications. So I'm targeting Frank Kern and I'm targeting Infusionsoft. I know that a lot of people in the niche uh, are using Infusionsoft. This is kind of like um, email marketing tool and marketing automation tool. So this is the tool I would target. And another um, audience I'm targeting, this is a 1% lookalike of people who already submitted the application. Here, if you don't have enough people to create those, those event, uh, you can create 1% lookalike of people who visit your website 1% of people who visit your Facebook page and you can just play with like different lookalike audiences. But this is the overall structure of my code campaign, $1 per day, 
ad set optimization and if I open some of my um, ad sets here I have four different here I have one different ad but ideally you would like to set four different ads but for the purpose of this video I'm just having one uh, the different ads, you can have different copy, different images, different call to actions, and you can just play around with it, with it. But I recommend you have at least four different ads, right? So now I'm going to go to the warm campaign. And usually in the warm campaign, I'm targeting everybody who visited my website for the last 30 days. And this is how I would start my campaign initially but if i'm not seeing any good results i might reduce the time frame to 14 7 or one day or i might increase it to like let's say 16 90 and 180 days but this is how i would start initially um usually here for this campaign the daily budget is one dollar per day and the campaign and the budget optimization is campaign budget optimization so here i'll be able to add different ad sets but for each ad set for each ad set i add i'll be charged one dollar per day more so ideally this is how i would start and here again i recommend to use four different ads but here the ads will be more oriented towards getting to people to apply for a call. Here I'll be asking for the application, right? It, they're going to be much more aggressive because the idea is that people who already visit my, my website, they know the offer. So the idea of the warm campaign would be to get people to submit the application, right? And those are the campaigns uh, I'll be launching if I had just $5 per day. I think it's like pretty simple setup. It's a very, very effective ways, way to run ads. Even if I'm spending, let's say, $1,000 or $2,000 per day, this is how I would start. If you have more money, feel free to increase the budget. But in many cases i'm trying to have 80 percent of the budget spent on cold traffic and 20 percent of the budget spent on warm traffic and this is how the setup look like looks like i think it's pretty simple um i think it's a pretty simple way to run uh, facebook ads uh, if you're running your facebook ads campaigns this way you might need to run the ads for let's say 20 to 30 days to get some decent data. Uh, but still, it's a great way to start um, your campaigns. My name is Nico. In this channel, I talk about business marketing and wealth. If you have an online business and if you wanna grow your online business to the very next level, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions about Facebook ads or about this type of setup, make sure you um, ask your questions in, questions in the comments. Um, I very much appreciate you watching those videos. I'm still quite new on the platform, so I'm struggling a lot being a content creator or a YouTuber or whatever you want to call it. So I really appreciate you watching these videos. I really appreciate you commenting this video. If you truly believe that this video would be helpful to somebody else, make sure you share this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nico and I'll talk to you soon.